everybody, I was talking to my friend Rick DeGroote, and he asked a really good question, which is, how do you challenge yourself to determine whether you've built a good data model? And the first thing that starts with, obviously, in Power BI is whether or not you've built a good star schema. But even within the context of a star schema, there are better and worse ways to do things. And so how do you determine kind of whether you've, you've done it right and built a good model? And I was thinking about this. And that when you bring your car in for inspection, you get an expert mechanic to take a look at it and go through a you know 30-point tune-up and look at all the different aspects of how your cars work. And there is actually a way to do this exact same thing within Tabular Editor, both the free version and the paid version, where you can take and you can put your, your data model, shall we say, kind of up on the lift and have it inspect that data model and tell you where that, that model can be tuned up and improved. And so I want to show you exactly how to do that today. This is the paid version of Tabular Editor. I'm showing it to you here just because, as I say, I'm more familiar with it. Um, but this part of Tabular Editor, the best practices analyzer that we're going to be using, this is basically the same in the, in the paid and free version. And so what this does is this basically evaluates your data model against a rule set. And Microsoft has now taken over maintenance of that rule set. And what you do here is you go into Best Practice Analyzer and say Manage Rules. And you can manage your rules within the current model for the local user, for the local machine. What The way I like to do it is in order to make sure that I'm always using the most current rule set, what I like to do is I like to say Add and then Add Rule from URL. And what it'll do is it'll say, enter a URL to resolve a JSON document containing the best practice rule set. And if we go, if we go back to our, our, our report and we go to our external toolbar, on there I've got the analyst hub. And what I've got here is I put a document up in community called URL for TET3 Best Practices Analyzer Rule Set. And if you open that up, it's just a, it's just a URL. And you can copy that URL, and then we go back into, into Tabular Editor or T3, and we paste that, that URL in. And what it'll do is it'll then show you all the rules that are related to um, that rule set. And it's, it, I don't remember exactly how many rules, but there are lots of them. And what you can do if you want is you can actually also go through and you can create new rules. So we click on OK. And what we see here is we see a, a, a best practice with, a, with an expand button here. We see a type, a severity, and a category. And we can tell a few things from this. First of all, the severity um, ones are, are, are really minor. Twos are, are, are warnings, and three are potentially more severe. And what we can do is we can, we can sort by severity, and we can take a look and see kind of where our, our problem areas are. And one of the things I typically like to do is I like to take, and most of the time for formatting, I don't really care. You know, from a best practice standpoint, you can go through and, and you can... Um, you can, you can format your stuff, you know, differently. You know, it says first letter of objects must be capitalized, um, et cetera. Um, provide format string for measures, provide format string for month column. And these are generally things I don't really care about. But in this case, we do have a couple, we do have a couple of twos here. And so what I can do is I can show you here. So foreign key, you want to hide those foreign keys. And if we click here, in the pub date, um, we can see we can see where that foreign key problem is. And let's go back to our best practice analyzer. Oh, in the time, let's let's move the time explorer up here, and let's expand this out a little bit because this this is good to show in both windows. So we can we can look here and we can see. Okay, hide foreign keys. If we click on pub date, it'll show this pub date here. And one of the things we can do that's really cool in in um, the best practice analyzer is we can either create a script to generate the fix 
or we can apply the fix straight up. And it's, it's usually helpful to generate the script first. And so you can see exactly what it's doing. And it's just changing the, the is hidden attribute to true. So what we can do is we can go back here and then go here and apply fix. And if you keep an eye here, what you're going to see is you're going to see that you're going to see that turn um, from from bold to um, to faded, and that's going to show that 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 is now a hidden column, and that the fix has been applied. And you can see when I hit that, it fades out and it applies that fix. And then the the object here that was listed as a problem that goes away since that's been fixed. So here we have hide primary fact table columns. And we've got these three. We can click on this. And if we hit apply fix, you can see that fade again. So um, let's take a look through, um, see what else we've got in formatting. Um, format string, format string, format string. Um, whole number should be formatted. Remove unnecessary columns. So this one we're not going to worry about because we've already run measure killer. Measure killer said no. We think it's used, so we're going to ignore that one. Um, and then it looks like we've basically worked through, oh, do not summarize numeric um, numeric columns. That's generally a good, a good thing. And so let's take a look at the script for that. And we can then apply the fix. And that one's fixed as well. And so we go back to Tom Explorer. And now let's take a look, and I think we've worked through the formatting one. So what we can do is we can, we can click on all these formatting ones, and we can say, okay, let's ignore those. And let's collapse these. And then we can take a look and see what else is, what else is. So remove redundant columns and related tables. Okay, measure killer is already taken care of that. Um, model should have a date table. Okay. That's, that's a problem definitely that we want to take a look at. And so, um, what we want to do with that is let's go back here and let's see, maybe what I forgot to do. And this is I forgot to mark my date table and we can see, okay, here, mark his date table. And sure enough, I did not mark this as a date table, which is something you should always do. So we go through. We select date, mark his date table. And that's, that's a big one that, that big win for, for best practice analyzer. Cause that's definitely something we, um, we should have done. Okay. So, um, we go back in and best practice analyzer. Okay. And so now let's go back up. And let's take, take one last look through here. Um, we've got minimize our power query transformations. Okay, that, that's, one, that's one that's generally a best practice, but we know in this case that the transformations we've done are, are necessary. Um, we've hit our foreign keys. Um, we're not going to worry so much about descriptions at this point. And so what you can do, you can see here, um, ensure tables do not have relationships. We've got some explicitly disconnected tables here that, um, that are intentional. So we can, we can take that one out. And you can see here, rather than going through all the rest of them, this is a really good way to, to review and um, ensure that you are hitting kind of all the key best practices in the implementation of your data model. Um, and so what I typically do, I should have done it on this one, um, is to go through this before finalizing the report. And not all of them are going to be relevant. It'll save, you know, for example, tables should have relationships. And so there are cases where you don't want relationships in your tables, but it's good to, to walk through those and make sure you're being explicit in those, those determinations. So that is the best practices analyzer. They update that rule set on a pretty regular basis. And so what I what I would do is just kind of keep a watch out. Um, Michael Kowalski on um, 
on LinkedIn. Um, he is the one who maintains that rule set at Microsoft, and he will announce when there are new sets out. But if you use that URL that I showed you, you'll always have the most recent rule set. So there you have it. That's the tabular editor best practices analyzer. Um, I hope you find that helpful. I find it to be a really invaluable tool for checking the quality of my data model and making improvements. Um, so as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.